can I, I just get a sense from you, you were in Wandsworth. Are you surprised at this escape? I'm not really, no, because Wandsworth has always, I mean, right back to Ronnie Biggs in 1966, Wandsworth has always been one of those prisons that you could escape from. It's been known. I mean, it's not easy, but you could do it if you wanted to. Um, what I am surprised about is that he was actually in uh, Wandsworth Prison because if you're charged with terrorism offences and you are, uh, you've been trained in the armed forces as well, you would almost certainly become a, a Category A prisoner and you would be placed in Belmarsh in a unit which was specifically built for prisoners like that. Um, and you wouldn't... Another thing is, I mean, get into a Category B with his charges, even though, I have to say, he hasn't been found guilty of anything yet, but getting to Category B is, is quite an achievement. But getting into the actual kitchens, you then have to pass a further security risk check in order to get in the kitchens because they're full of knives and weapons. So you're saying that before he even got into that kitchen, he shouldn't have been the prison enemy, anyway, no. but before he got in that kitchen, he must have either been given a security check or actually there wasn't enough people to deliver that security check. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm guessing that there may not have been enough people, same as there may not have been enough staff to actually run the mirrors under the vehicles coming in and out of the prison, which is a must in every prison. So every, every vehicle, every food vehicle comes in, but then there's familiarity, isn't he? And he might have been in the kitchens for some time. Yes, quite probably, and he probably saw his chance, saw an, an escape uh, was possible from there. And I should guess he didn't do it on the spur of the moment. He's obviously planned it for, a, you know, probably a couple of weeks or something and then made his move when he was ready. And although the escape doesn't surprise you, are you surprised that actually he hasn't been apprehended? Um, no, I'm not really. I mean, it, it quite, I'll tell you another thing that surprises me is that the police didn't make him a Category A prisoner, but any other prison escapee, if an armed robber escapes from prison tomorrow, if a burglar escapes, if an arsonist escapes, they don't check the airports and uh, ports. They don't, you know, they're not thinking that people... So the police must know that he must have some kind of organisation that would allow him, within a matter of hours, to escape from one's prison and then get to the ports or the airports. It's just unbelievable, really. Then, uh, Nick Harwick, um, what's your sense of the government's actual handle 